Our calling CEO and founder, Wayne Walker, joins me with more on how its Beat the Heat campaign is trying to help those in need and really how all of us can help. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You know, right off the bat, 10,000 plus, that number may be surprising to some folks. I think we look at cities on the coast thinking that they really have a homelessness problem. Can you talk to me a big picture what we're seeing here in Dallas and DFW right now? So in the last five years, our unsheltered homeless population has increased by hundreds of percent, really a higher percentage of growth in L.A. and New York. But what we've seen last year was the first time ever that our actual point in time count number came down because of the collaborative effort with all the agencies in town. But as you see driving around the city, you see more and more people under these bridges. Hey, real quickly, and we could talk about this for so long, uh, what factors do you think are contributing to this? Well, you have a rising cost of housing, you have the inflation, it's the highest you know, in our lifetime. Yeah. And so it's costing more for a gallon of gas and a gallon of milk, and so people are just really struggling financially. Yeah, and you're really seeing those impacts in our day-to-day -day life. So one thing you were saying, we have seen some improvement because of the work that's being done. Yes. So let's focus on the helpers, the people trying to find solutions. Tell me about our calling. What's your mission? What services do you, do you provide? So at our calling, we are a Christian faith-based group, and so we focus on two questions every day. The first is, will you trust the Lord? The second is, will you let us help you off the streets? And as of today, we've gotten 856 people off the streets this year, and it's really a, a collaborative effort with all the different agencies in town, a lot of technology we use. We're able to see people get off the streets every single day, which is really the priority, not just a sandwich and a handout, but helping them leave these streets. And when you say, will you trust the Lord, why is that your first question and what's the intention behind it? Well, in, in our faith, Christianity, we are super exclusive, right, in what we believe, but completely inclusive in who we serve, mm. right? So it's not a requirement. Everything we do faith-based is voluntary, but we really want people to know that we were created to have a relationship with God. And because of that and our faith and our love for the Lord, we really want to love our neighbors as ourselves. And I think for people of faith, that can be a, a guiding question to ask every single day, no matter the circumstances. I love that that was the first question that you had. So let's talk about why this heat wave really is dangerous for those that are unsheltered on the streets 24 7 at sometimes. Yeah, we have a lot of people that are elderly, a lot of people with disabilities, yeah. people that are really struggling emotionally, physically. Uh, last week, a mom pulls up in our parking lot, rolls down her window crying, and she says, I don't know where to go and what to do, mm. but we've been living in our car. Yeah. And she gets out and she's pregnant. She has four kids with her. They've been living in their car since April. Wow. And to be able to look at her in her face and say, you will not be homeless tonight. And be able to work with our partners around the city to make sure she had a safe place to go that night and she's not homeless anymore. That's why we do what we do. And that's why we need the community support. Talk about some fulfilling work right there. So let's talk about individuals like myself or anybody watching at home. Obviously, you are doing the hard work every single day. What is it that we can do? How can we support? Well, so we have a mobile app. We would love for folks to let us know where they see people experiencing homelessness. Download the Our Calling app and just l report those locations where people are needed and need help. But we also need people to participate. Like right now during the heat, we're collecting funds to buy the resources people need during this time of year. They need sunscreen, they need hats, they need sunglasses, but they also need professional street outreach teams to mm. go there and interact with them and help them escape homelessness. Is there an emphasis on having the professional teams doing that work as opposed to just anybody watching at home approaching somebody on the street that they may not know? Well, the. The trick is we have the tools. Yeah. So we have thousands of volunteers and want to invite people to continually join with us and go with us and the other agencies in town doing great work. But it's the professional tools that have the capacity to help us not just give you a sandwich, but actually help you get off the streets for the rest of your life. Uh, I really want to thank you for what you're doing and also um, empowering all of us to help as well. So thank you for your work. Oh, we have a blast. So much fun.